a larger part of the people of Imo State crave for the return of Right Honorable Emeka Ihedioha as governor of Imo State. It is no longer news that Senator Hope Uzodima may be spending borrowed time in Douglas House as the forces bent on removing him from office even before 2023 keep growing by the day. Uzadima, within a short time in office, have created more powerful enemies than allies, especially amongst those that helped him get into power. At the moment, Uzadima's only formidable ally in the state, because of his closeness to President Muhammadu Buhari, is the Junior Minister for Education, Honorable Emeka Mwajuba. On the opposing side of the aisle, aside from Right Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, who could be described as a natural opponent, following the events of January 14, 2020, Uzadema has managed to turn the two most powerful politicians in Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha and Ifani Ararume, against himself. Both men, along with Uche Mwosu, who could have totally dashed Uzadima's hopes of becoming governor, had, the, had he objected with the ruling handed down to him by the same Supreme Court that installed Uzadima, made Uzadima governor of Imo State. Today, Uzadima is a daggers drawn with these men that made him, as he seems bent on retiring all of them from active politics. The first on his list for political retirement was Senator Ifai Ararume, who Uzadema has all but truncated his, truncated the Isiebu Bon Bellunia politician's desire to return to the Senate. Uzadema installed Frank Ibezim as the party's candidate in Okigwe Senate by election, a situation that has left the entire political landscape of Okigwe embroiled in legal tussles to determine who would succeed late Senator Benjamin Uwajumogu over a year after his untimely demise. Uzadema's running battle with Okorocha over the control of the party in the state has left the party almost frag fragmented and directionless, with loyalists on both sides wondering which way to turn to. These political battles Uzadema is waging against his opponents within the party may force them into an alliance with Ihe Dioha, which may pave the way for Uzadema's removal even before 2023. The Philip Umayadi suit is handing like a hangsman noose over Uzadema's head. Perilously coming closer, despite suspected efforts to keep the case quiet. Even though there is a myth that Uzadima knows his way around the Supreme Court, and in all his cases, he might fail on the High Court or appeal, but always get victory at the Supreme Court. With combined efforts by these three heavyweights, Uzadima's hold in the Supreme Court may fail him this time, as the case is clear cut even for a layman to see. The only remedy he is having at the moment is the failure of the Supreme Court to hear the case. A situation believed to be the handwork of behind the curtain corrupt players who are ridiculing the Olu Olago case illustration of the incorruptibility of the judicial system. However, it is a general belief in the state today that on that day 
that Umeadi's case and suit is heard, Imolites may no longer have to wait till 2023 to return Ehedi Oha to office. It is what it is. The Philip Umeadi's case is getting closer and the day of reckoning is as well drawing close. Uzadima, as it is, is reportedly said to be living on a borrowed life. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, as it were? Do you agree with this um, situation and development that Hope Uzadima is living on a borrowed life and Ihedioha may be coming back to Imo State Government House sooner than 2023? Well, with the way things are going, no one is sure of what exactly would happen. The only hanging case that is in the balance is the Philip Umeadi suit, which, as it is, the Supreme Court is yet to hear the case, and they are yet to listen to the suit. And uh, by the time they decide to hear the suit, well, we all uh, uh, believe that Justice will be uh, done, but probably the reason why they are refusing to hear the suit is they are trying to buy time for Hope Uzadima as it were. But with the way things are going, what do you think will happen? If Uzadima is sacked and Emeka Hidioha returned, what will happen to Emeka Hidioha's tenor? shows that the Imo state election will be altered and it will now fall in between years, just like uh, the Edo state or Shu state elections, Ikiti state elections, Abayasa state elections. Well, that is not even the problem, but what people are saying and believing and insisting is that let justice be served on this case. Imo state residents and indigents are hopeful and they are actually optimistic that justice will be delivered and that Emeka Ihedioha, whom is perceived to have been the people's choice, would return to the government house of Imo State sooner than 2023 election. Well, be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular idea and belief of people as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it is don't forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories endeavor to share this news story with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now